It's a, it's a, it's a, a remembrance of Ali and, and George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle, and this will be the reverse of that. George Foreman did not want to fight Muhammad Ali. George Foreman said he was old, he didn't want to hurt him. He said in, uh, if he won, he would be hurting a hero. He said if, uh, if, uh, if, 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 if he beat an old man, they're going to be looking down on him, and he was too great a champion for that to happen. And so I, oh, George said, I don't want to fight him. So, and he said, besides that, he talks too much. All right, so I said, this is your opportunity then to, to shed his mouth. You know what I mean? I said, so let's take him and do that. So, okay, then we went in there, we got to fight. Not a reverse of that. This is so many similarities. You know, I have to tell you, what he said was so evident that when all of the press and all of the people that are calling me to ask about uh, Deonta Wilder, and I say, he's a great fighter. I said, not only that, he can, he's a great talker. I said, and uh, so they want you to say, but well, he ain't never fought nobody. But to anybody that's everybody, that knocks out 32 people, you know what I mean? You got to say this man is not, if he's knocking out the milkman, you got to be able to do it. So you cannot say that when he gets knocked out, that he would, that, that Berman, uh, Berman had a, a, a bomb, just like he said, the reverse of what he said, but it's self-evident. I want you to give him his just due because I think he's great. And when, he, when a guy is great, when you get the other guy beat him, then that means he's greater. That's what Bernard and everybody else have done. But if you bring a man in and you start the, uh, uh, minimizing his talent, his skills, uh, and, and, and saying he ain't this, he ain't that, you know what I mean? Then when you win, well, he didn't beat nobody. You know, he was all this blunderbuss and all that, you know? So don't want you to do that. This man, he identified himself, and he did it in a respectable manner. You know, may be contemptible to the fighter that's going to be the opponent to him, but that's what makes the fight a big fight, an irresistible force that gets an immovable object, and something has got to give. Praise God, praise God. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, this time, this opportunity, Lord, that you allowed us to, to be here today, Lord, for you are awesome, you're great, and without you, Lord, we would be nothing for sharing your grace and mercy, Lord. Said so you died for our sins, Lord, you spilled so much blood on the Calvary cross, but come Saturday night, Lord, I'm going to make sure my opponent shred as much blood as you have, Lord. In your name, I pray, amen. How y'all doing today? Oh my goodness! How y'all doing, man? This is this. Come on now. How y'all guys doing, man? Y'all in? Y'all should be. Y'all should be excited, electrifying. You know, this is the most excited, ex entertaining heavyweight bout in, in in years, and, and and this is just the beginning. We are leading the way with with the awakening of the heavyweight division, and there's no other place than heaven at the MGM Grand. I just like to think. Thank Golden Boy, Showtime, um, Don King's promotion, Al Heyman, Shelly Fingers, and, and <laughs> <laughs> I like <the, laughs> Shelly Fingers. You know that's my man. You know, yeah, really, you know, we talk every day, so you know. I just like to thank all those guys, man. Just thank you for this this facility, man. It's it's been it's been wonderful. I can't have asked for a better place to be at than have a, a, a heavyweight title fight than here at the MGM Grand, where we're all, you know, boxing is, is, is the number one spot to have boxing. You know, it's beautiful. I've been ready for this. I've been waiting for this for so long. The training, the, 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 the heartaches, the pain, the suffering, the sacrifice that I had to, you know, stay away from my kids, man, it's been, it's been, man. It's been a long journey for me. Many people wrote me off early in my, in, in, way back in my amateur career, many people wrote me off. Many people said I shouldn't supposed to be here. And they still write me off to this day, which I appreciate them, I like that. Because when they write me off, I still exceed past, I still go to another level, I, I still push forward when, when, when so many blackers that came in through my life, people don't know my story, they don't know my journey, they don't know my path, what it took me to get here, nothing has ever been given to me. But I appreciate that. I appreciate every little thing that I have and had to go through throughout my life. That's what makes me who I am now as a man, a hardworking man, who I know that anything that I have to gain in life, I have to work hard to get it. And now I know I had to work hard to get this belt, and uh, I'm ready for that test. I'm ready for this time. This is my time. I don't think, I don't think my opponent understands purpose. 
I don't think he understand God appointed time. I don't think he understand the love I have for my kids that I have to provide. But this is my time. This is my place. This is my journey. And the only one can destruct me from my, my, my time is myself. I can't wait. Y'all in for a treat, man. <laughs> Y'all in for a treat. I ain't never been so ready to whoop a man in a long time. Never been so ready, man. It's been a lot of talking. I know it's been a lot of talking. It's been a lot of pictures being made, a lot of social media stuff, entertainment stuff. But doing, through, but doing so through all that, it's, all this been real. There's no being playing. I, I don't play games. I can't play boxing. It don't get no realer than this. We can't play this. We risk our lives each and every time in that ring. And I'm <laughs> Y'all guys, if y'all only knew how ready I am, if y'all only knew how much pain I'm about to put on this boy, y'all been waiting for American champion. All oh, this is for me right here. This is for me. This is, well, of course, I had to promote it all by myself. Of course, I ain't scared to talk because I'm going to bag it up. I ain't scared to express myself because I'm going to bag it up. I ain't scared to walk high with my hair hair and my chest hold high, uh, stuck out as well, too, because I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for any test. And anybody say, this is a test, please stick by that. Please stick by that, folks. So when I do the unexpected, I don't want y'all to degrade this man. I don't want y'all to call him another bum or, or make excuses for my victory. I don't want you to do that. Stick by your word. If this is a test for me, let it be the test for me. And watch me pass my test. Watch me do it. I promise you, I guarantee you I will do it. I can't wait. Y'all in for a treat. I swear, y'all tell you, y'all in for a treat. You in for a treat. Man, come on with it. In for a treat. Man, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> man, I'm so excited. I, I don't, most of the time, sometimes I have words, but I'm, I'm so excited, man. I'm a, we didn't kept it long enough. It's a little nippy up in here. They're trying to get on out of here, man. But I can't wait, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm super excited, man. And it's, it's, a, it's about that time. It's about that time, huh? Where my bomb squad people's at? Where my bomb squad people at? Where my bomb squad people at? Hey, hey, je vais te démourir. See for me. I hope you're ready, baby, because I'm ready. I hope you're ready. You're ready. I know your trainers, your managers, everybody been speaking for you, which is okay, but the only problem with that is they can't fight for you. They only can make it worse for you. And they have made it worse for you. You don't understand what type of man you about to get in the ring with. You don't understand what type of... <sighs> you don't understand what you done got yourself into. You only been champ for a short period of time and you're walking around like you've been champ for a long time. But all this by the end, you only been a tourist to that belt. Sophia coming home with me, I promise you. Your whole team about to, y'all might well find a, a, a new job because I'm, I'm about to delete all y'all jobs. I'm about to delete all, you better find the next one. Y'all think I've been playing, man, for so long. <laughs> you think that the taunting and the, and the things I've been doing, you think I've been playing, but y'all don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. But I like how y'all stay by your boy, stay by him. I like how Don been talking, Camille been talking, but he hasn't been talking. Is it because of the nerves? Are y'all afraid? You should be. Y'all think y'all got the remedy for me? Y'all think everything y'all been saying preparing for me? <laughs> I laugh at that shit, boy, I tell you. Y'all better be ready. 
It's been a lot of stories going on, a lot of lies and stuff been going. I'm about to end it, but I, I'm gonna get it out of my, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of lies going on around here. Seeing videos and me getting hurt and being, come on with it. Me getting hurt and all this junk. I done heard some shit too. I'm gonna tell my done. Um, I, I done heard that uh, if any kind of chance of them winning, if if, if it's any kind of chance of them winning, I heard they 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 plan on getting rid of you, done. <laughs> hey hey hey! I gotta I gotta let them know if a, if a man gonna lose his job, he need to know up front. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. They say as soon as they train in the, in, the, in the Mayweather gym, they're going to get Mayweather to sign them. They're going to leave them. That's what I heard. But get what, Dunn? He said he brought you to the top. But what you going to do when, I, when he gets stopped? Because I'm about to put this Haitian on permanent vacation. And the new Bob Squad. Speaking on vacation, you talk about vacation. Didn't you go on vacation for domestic? Mm -hmm. You heard me. Yeah. You know, if you heard me, I'm on the microphone. But uh, let me uh, let me keep going. Let me keep going. Let me keep talking. Cause that's my time. You had your time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, it's gonna be a real fight. It's gonna be a fight like you've never seen before. I ain't a cab driver. I ain't a one hit wonder. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. This belt here ain't going nowhere. This belt, this green belt is staying right here in this green hotel right here. This ain't going nowhere, baby. What else can I say? I want to thank everybody. I mean, thank you for everything, for the support. Uh, you guys won't be disappointed. You guys won't be disappointed. Because I heard you said, uh, I ain't never seen nobody like you. I seen plenty. Plenty. I seen people that talk more than you. See, but one thing with me, I don't worry how I go in the ring. I worry about how I get out the ring. And, and you know who 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 uh, said that to me once? Your cut man, Russ Amber. About twelve years ago. I know he's somewhere here. What's up, Russ? There you go. What about Berman? What round? You know what? About the round, there's something about Deontay. I'm gonna keep your record clean. Cause, Cause you ain't gonna pass four rounds. You are not going more than four rounds. You can't even look at me straight with a straight face. You sitting there with a, that fake ass and that ridiculous suit you got on that don't make any sense and that fake ass watch you got. It is a real fight. And this title is still right here in my hometown, baby. And you gonna hear still, baby, still. Cause you know what, I'ma tell you what, I'm trying to catch a case. Boy, you gonna get hurt. You gonna get hurt. Don't want me to. Don't want me to. That one thing you did is to have me take you serious. And I took you serious. I took you serious. You better shut the hell up. I'm the champ. Shut up. I'm talking. You had the time to talk. You had the time to talk. You had, yeah, you gonna whoop. You ain't gonna whoop shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a real, it's, it's a real, it's a real fight. This is for the fans, you know what I'm saying? And um, 
people are showed up Saturday night. It's gonna be a short night. You know what I'm saying? I thank everybody for showing up. You guys won't be disappointed. This is gonna be a terrific fight. This is gonna be this is gonna be the end. After this fight, you will never, ever, ever going to hear about Deontay Wilder.